guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we are doing a full body intense routine. This is going to be using your body weight only and I'm so excited to dive into this to you. So let's jump in. Okay guys, so let's get going. Your First move we're going into is crab ankle touches. So come up into a crab position and all you're going to do is tap those ankles. So with this move you want to make sure that you're keeping yourself pretty stable and neutral. Don't be wobbling like this. I want you to keep your body as straight as you can. Hold that core, tap the ankles with the opposite hand. So if you need to go slow, it's totally fine, go at the speed that works for you. My watch always gets in the way. <laughs> Keep going guys. Unfortunately it's raining here today. So it's not that sunny. Keep going, three more seconds. Excellent, for the next move that you're gonna be going into, I'm gonna come forward, is you're gonna go into four tricep dips and then four in and out abs, balancing on the bum. So come up, give me four, three, two, one, then in, two, four. Let's go again. Make sure that you're holding those abs in the entire time really want you to crunch in, bring those knees to the chest. Let's go. Beautiful, keep going. If you need a modification for the in out abs, you can just do toe taps like this instead. Excellent. Okay, for the next move, you're gonna be going into Spider-Man walks with a stretch. Nice way to have it a little bit calm. So plank position, Spider-Man, lift the arm up, down, return. Okay, so we wanna pick up the pace with this. Keep going. Keep that core sucked in. Keep that bum down. Beautiful. Lift that arm all the way up, stretch down, keep that core tight as you twist and rotate. This is a great full body workout. Give me one more, boom. All right, the next move you're going into is diagonal leg kick. So I want you on all fours. Your leg is gonna be out into a diagonal, facing the corner, and I just want you to lift that leg up and down. Bring that elbow to the floor so we get a better range. Breathe through the exercises. Core engaged. Keeping those feet flexed. Lifting that leg up and down. Don't lift your leg like this where you're arching your back. I just want you to have a little lift where you can feel that glute engaged. Beautiful. Keep going. You should be feeling a burn in the booty. Keep going. Excellent. Okay, so we're gonna do the same, but now on the other side. It's the same position. Elbow dropped, leg out to a diagonal. Core engaged. Lift that leg up and down. Beautiful. Keep it going. Make sure you're not rocking to the side either. Keep those hips stable. Facing the floor. 
Pump it, pump it. Think about those glutes, my muscle connection. Squeeze at the top. Beautiful. 10 seconds left. Keep going. Beautiful. Okay, next move you're going to be on your back. We're going to be doing side center abs. So feet on the floor. I want you to come up, keep that crunch, and I want you to tap outer side, the center, and the outside. Come back. Out, center, out. Keep it going. If you need to take a break, you're welcome to do so by putting your head down here. If not, really want you to push yourselves. I know you can do it. So keep that crunch, keep those ribs engaged, push through, keep going. We got it. 10 seconds. Keep that stomach flat. Excellent. For the next move, we're going into shoulder taps, okay? So you're gonna be up in a high plank position. If you need to modify, you can stay on your knees. If not, come up to a high plank and just tap those shoulders. Keep that core engaged, back nice and flat. And just tap each shoulder. Make sure you're not rocking the hips too much like this. I want you to keep them neutral, facing the floor. And just tap. Excellent work, keep going. You're halfway. Keep going, 10 seconds. Beautiful, and for the final two exercises, it's gonna be the same, but changing sides. So we're gonna go into an attitude kick with a full on kick. So leg out, slightly bent at the knee, you're gonna have attitude lift, kick. Attitude lift, kick. This is gonna to help to really target those glute muscles. And you're gonna be feeling definite muscle fatigue here by keeping those legs up. So little lift, kick. Little lift, kick. You're halfway. Keep going. Keep that core nice and strong. Breathe through the exercise. Excellent work. So your final, final exercise of this circuit is going to be the same, but on the other leg. So same cues here. Lift that leg up. Attitude, kick. Attitude, kick. That's it. Keep your hips facing the floor. Core engaged, use that core for stability. That's why it's here. Contract, breathe through. If you want an extra challenge, you're more than welcome to lift the arm off of the floor. Halfway through, keep going. Come on, that's it. Keep pushing through. 10 seconds. Excellent work, guys. So that was the end of your full body, body weight only exercise routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to hit the like and also subscribe to my YouTube channel because I have weekly workouts. And now I wanna hear from you. Tell me, what are three things that you are grateful for? Let me know in the comments below.